Boy, do I have a story for you today. It's quite unbelievable. A US couple adopted a girl with dwarfism from the Ukraine, legally changed her age from eight to 22, and then they abandoned her in a rented apartment so they could move to Canada. <laughs> Wow. 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 This is probably one of the most clowny headlines we've seen in a while. Look at it. So Christine Barnett, 45, and ex-husband Michael Barnett, 43, have been charged with neglect after a five-year investigation. They are accused of abandoning their adopted daughter and moving to Canada with their three sons. Before that, they allegedly changed the girl's age from 8 to 22. How do you do that? How do you do that? and instructed her to tell people she just looks young for her age. The Baronets allegedly rented an apartment for the girl in Indiana, but provided no additional financial support. Christine Barnett denied any wrongdoing and accused her adopted daughter of being a fraud. What the? Barnett's made headlines five years ago when Christine wrote a book about raising her autistic son, Jacob, who is a physics prodigy. Now, isn't that great? When your mom takes advantage of your mental disability and profits off you, they obviously didn't turn him into a prodigy. Okay, the kids has the tism. Most likely, he was just drawn to the mathematical nature of physics and did well in it. These people obviously aren't good parents. How do you even change someone, someone's legal age? How is that possible? Now, before we look at the details of this story, wow. YouTube no longer gives a shit about me. I get no ad revenue, I get no subscription revenue, I get nothing. So if you want to support me, you can do so by checking out the links down below in the description and joining me on Patreon or Subscribestar. There's also PayPal, there's Bitcoin. All of your support is appreciated. Now, this is a pretty crazy story. An Indiana couple have been charged with abandoning their adopted daughter, who has dwarfism, and moving to Canada after legally changing the child's age from 8 to 22. And they left her alone in a city. So, Tippecanoe County prosecutors filed neglect charges on Wednesday against Christine Elizabeth Barnett, 45, and her ex-husband, Michael Barnett, 43 following a five-year criminal investigation. It took him that long? Christine has denied any wrongdoing, insisting that the daughter is an adult and accusing them of fraud. So here's a picture of her. As you can see, she has stone cold eyes. Looks like a sociopath. Cause that's the only explanation I can come up with. That stare is predatory. It's, it doesn't seem, I mean, look at it. Those are the eyes of a predator. Although, to be fair, they do look derpy here. What the heck? So these people actually were famous. They appeared on TV on 60 Minutes in 2012 to talk about their 13-year-old son, Jacob, who they touted as a physics prodigy. I wonder if that's true. I wonder if that's even true. Even that little girl was in the damn video. There's no getting around this. They abandoned her. What the hell? So the Barnett's previously made national news when Christine published a book in 2014 about raising her son Jacob, described as a child physics prodigy with an IQ higher than Albert Einstein, who's diagnosed with autism at the age of two. Now who knows if that's even true? She appeared on 60 Minutes. They have a video at home. Who even knows that this is true? So there's no doubt about it. According to a probable cause affidavit filed in the case, the Barnetts, who have three sons, adopted the girl from the Ukraine in 2010, and the doctor who examined her that year determined that she was about eight years old. Not an adult with dwarfism, but eight years old. So Barnett told the detective that he and Christine rented an apartment in Lafayette in 2013, and despite knowing that the child knew no one in that city, they left her there and then moved to Canada. Investigators wrote in the affidavit, Really? Why? What is wrong with you people? What is wrong with this sociopath? She actually wrote this on Facebook. Okay, I am sorry. I am not supposed to be talking to anyone, but in response to the Washington Post photo of me supposedly being booked into jails, here is what is actually happening. I am sick and devastated from the idea that any of these charges and maintain they are false charges. Are you, you're insane. You have your sociopath. Friends and family, you decide if what you are reading is real or fake news for yourselves. It's fake news. I am having to come in here to confirm that I am not arrested and my attorney states and has confirmed there is no warrant for my arrest. You want a mugshot, Washington Post, get the girl right and also find an actual criminal. Imagine being in this much denial. Imagine this woman has abandoned a child. We have video evidence of the child and they're saying it's false. What is mentally ill in here? What is going on? We should study this. So the affidavit leaves a lot unclear. 
including how long the girl lived alone in the apartment, before her plight was discovered, and why an investigation apparently began in September of 2014, took years to result in charges against the Barnetts. It also doesn't say where in Canada the Barnetts lived, or whether they have since returned to the US. In an off-camera interview with Wish TV, Christine has reiterated that she was innocent and that her daughter adoption was a scam. The woman provided a letter to the station, purportedly written by her ex-husband's doctor at IU Health, who also treated the girl at one time, which states that her date of birth written on the birth certificate is clearly inaccurate, which has not been independently authenticated. Evidence of the girl's true biological age can be seen in her teeth, adult sexual development, and menstrual cycle. The letter claims the girl's been diagnosed with sociopathic personality disorder, and that she previously admitted that she was older than 18 years old in 2011. Yeah, the mother has sociopathic personality disorder, 100%. They accused a little girl with dwarfism of being a sociopath. No, no psychologist in the right mind would be smart enough. No psychiatrist would be smart enough to properly diagnose sociopathy in someone so young. That's how I know it's false. They won't. They're not, they're not going to be that smart. Okay, I've met these people. <laughs> they're idiots. They see nothing. It's a joke, honestly. the The whole industry is a joke. Um, yeah, this mother, this mother has whatever she claimed the daughter had. I'm, I'm calling it right now. In July of 2014, the Penguin Random House published Christine Barnett's book titled *The Spark: A Mother's Story of Nurturing Genius*, billing it as a memoir of a mother's love, commitment, and nurturing, which allowed her son, originally diagnosed with severe autism, to flourish into universally recognized genius. And how any parent can help their child find their spark. The 288-page volume talks about Christine's experiences raising Jacob and why she chose to ignore the experts when it came to treating her son's autism. She lives in Canada with her husband, Michael, her three boys, Jacob, Wesley, and Ethan, and she's a public speaker on alternative education for children with autism. Jacob Barnett caused a stir when at age of 10 he enrolled in Indiana University, Purdue University in Indianapolis, where he astonished his professors with his knowledge and became a paid researcher in quantum physics. So according to his Facebook page, Jacob is currently a PhD student at Perimeter Institute for Theoretical Physics in Ontario, Canada. In a bizarre twist to an already convoluted tale, Wish TV reported that Michael Barnett married his second wife in 2016, two years before his and Christine's divorce was finalized. What the hell is going on? And they're not accepting comments. What the hell? What is going on, folks? I have no clue. I honestly don't. This is a mess. This entire story is weird. Is this true? Is it not true? I don't even know. So obviously, um, there's idiots out there who actually believe the dwarfism is an adult story? I don't. If the doctors are saying that she's biologically not an adult, then she's probably not an adult and these people are crazy. I have no idea, folks. I have no freaking idea. You know what? We're gonna leave it there. I'll, if, if there's updates on this situation, we'll check, we'll, I guess we'll do an update. We're gonna find out. But these people have been, uh, they're gonna be charged for child negligence. So obviously, their story is false. Most likely, that's what I'm going with. That's what's that's what's happening. They're being charged for abandoning a daughter who's biologically young, according to doctors. That's the story for now. If I have any updates, I'll let you guys know. But there you have it. Whew, my friends, that, that's crazy. This is one crazy ass story, but that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about this one? Trust me, there's a lot of room for speculation. But, the I mean, the doctors are saying the child's young. They're being charged. It's been a long investigation. I think that's enough evidence to say that, yeah, they're, they're crazy. The parents are crazy. The daughter is not. That's my opinion. I want to hear yours. Now, as always, you can join me on Patreon or Subscribestar for as low as $1. Doing so will get you access to Fight Club, a private Discord server. And because websites are suppressing red pilled content, sharing videos you enjoy or think are important on social media also helps. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.